Welcome, dear comrade, to a faraway land, to the glorious Republic of Tajmenistan. Today's tale takes place quite a few years ago, at the height of the space race, 1962. That year it was announced at the May Day Parade that a mission to Pluto would get underway. So the testing began, the rockets constructed, and unwilling test pilots covertly abducted. Forty-one sprightly canines were sent into space to test the frontier for their master's sake. But each of the dogs met an untimely end. No matter, said the leader, there is more we can send. Until some months later, a hitch in the plan. There was not one dog left in all of the land. At least that's what they thought, but far, far away lived a Serge Sergemanov and his mutt named Yule. Since a freak tractor accident that claimed Serge's wife, the Siberian snoofhound was all in his life. Old Serge, he hated all the other town folk. It was only to Yule that he ever spoke. They read all the books by the great Tajman thinkers and drank all the vodka like the great Tajman drinkers. But then one quiet morning before Serge awakened, the soldiers arrived and Yule was taken. The octogenarian only realized as the liftoff made news on State Channel 5. His heart slowly sank and the spark left his eyes as his friend disappeared without any goodbyes. For almost a year, Serge did not eat or sleep. His house, it seemed empty, his world incomplete. So one night he decided to spend his last days sending postcards to space to farewell Yule. He would tie them to rockets, to balloons and to birds. Every morning he'd try and send up his words. Serge made contraptions, some big and some small. Some were semi-successful, others not at all. He sold off his house and spent all of his pension mountains of stamps and parts for inventions. Twelve long years passed as Serge toiled away, hoping some of his thoughts would get to Yule. All by himself, with no worldly possessions, Serge sent one last postcard up into the heavens. In the cold outer regions of our solar system, Yule then approached the goal of his mission. But there was little, if any, excitement in this. After decades of dog years, he'd lost all happiness. And the Taj many leaders had long since moved on. They'd forgotten of Yule. He was there all alone. With Pluto in sight, the old dog he sighed as he longed for the days of Serge by his side. He thought of the good times he had way back when, the walks, stews and vodka shared with his friend. After four billion miles and four thousand days, he wondered if Master felt the same way. So Yule took a breath. It was his very last just as one simple message went sailing on past. I love you, comrade Yule. My hopes will never fail to one day hear you bark again and see you wag your tail.